ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video. So I do apologise about episode 4 taking a little bit longer than expected to produce. I had about 36 hours worth of video recordings to go through and halfway through I did believe that it was probably better if I just showed you exactly what the thing looks like instead of doing a time lapse like I did with episode 2 and episode 1. <clears throat> so, as you can see, it is quite complicated. The internal framing, all the ribs, and all the internal bulkheads slash armoured deck, it, it was complicated. But as you can see, this is exactly what the internals of the Abercrombie class might have slash would have looked like. It's an educated guess. So overall there's about 83 different frames going from the stem to the stern. There is every single compartment inside is blocked off so each watertight compartment as you go from far to aft is modelled. The sections in the build in the bulges, I don't apologise, have been that were open to the sea have been inserted and they are there. And it's as accurate as you're probably going to get to the overall rib shapes and the rib section that you would find on a ship of this type. Now, going forward, what we're going to do is I'm going to join it to the hull, to the exterior hull, quote unquote, plating, which you would have seen in the exterior hull video. And sections will be obviously missing that will primarily be the internal parts but some of that external framing will be visible anyway so just under the top deck which would in theory be two deck or the main deck you will see the framing anyway because there's external openings on the main deck that go forward to aft so you will see sections of that as well as the deck ribs and deck framing that supports the one deck or you might call it I think it's called the focal deck on the actual plans but you'd probably call it top deck and there's that also like I mentioned earlier on there is a section in the bulge that is open to the sea that will be open so you will just about see the framing inside as ironically it's open to the sea it would have water inside and that is kind of how I'm keeping it. So that is pretty much it. You might also vaguely see, if you've got good eyes, that the ship actually has boilers, has triple expansion engines in place, has the auxiliary generators, as well as funnel trunking as well, which is amazing to see. Now, all of those, bar the triple expansion engines I have made myself, I am using a royalty free triple expansion engine and then stuck in the colours. So that is pretty much it for that video. Now it's time to move on to opening the ship's side and progressing onwards. So thank you very much for watching ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you next time.